Fancy a bit of island feel for Far Eastern money? Keep watching. Yes, hello, welcome back to Got A Ukulele, back after my summer break, as ever, with the summary video review for the full review that you'll find linked below the video. There's a lot of thank yous running across the bottom of the screen because I've not been here for a few weeks. Uh, these are people who've donated to help keep the site going or just simply to say thank you and keep this site as impartial and free of it being corporate sponsored. It never has been corporate sponsored. If you want to do that, have a look at the links below this video and also the links on the website. You can do that through a variety of ways my eternal thanks go to those people I would not be here without them and also you can help out by simply hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell on YouTube and get the subscriber count up okay as I say I'm back and I was talking about in that introduction Hawaiian feel for uh, Far Eastern money and this is a brand I've looked at before and like one or two other high-end brands they have a budget line that are made not in the USA or in Hawaii in this case uh, but are made in China and this budget brand is called Islander and they are under the tutelage of the Canalea brand. This is the Islander AC4 Concert. Um, it's a neat idea, isn't it? I mean, you, if you're a brand like Canalea, you're not going to put your name to junk. They are; These are linked to Canalea. They oversee these. Um, but they're very, very much lower priced than the Hawaiian instruments being made in China. Um, this one is kind of, I think, the entry-level series, the AC4. And I think there's an AS4 and whatnot. Um, absolutely entry level. They do um, prettier and more decorative instruments, but they're all significantly cheaper than the Canalea Big Brothers. Uh, the AC4, made of all laminate woods. This is all laminate acacia. And uh, I'm glad it's acacia because it's an otherwise very, very plain and simple looking instrument. Two pieces on the top, back, and sides. And thankfully, we have some stripe. We all also have a little bit of flame going on down here, which is kind of nice for a piece of laminate topping. Um, but as I say, otherwise very, very plain, and I'll come on to that a little bit more in a moment. Very much the Canalea style bridge. It's a pin bridge made of walnut, same Canalea shaping. It's not anything quite like the quality of the Canalea bridges, but it certainly looks like one. It's all very tidy. Little black bridge pins in there. The saddle, straight topped and made of new bone. Uh, like Canaleas are. As I say, it is all very, very simple. Regular viewers of these videos will know that I like simple instruments, but even for my tastes, I think this needs something a little bit more. It's finished in a satin, which is slightly open pore, very, very tidy, very, very tidy build as well. But I think just think it needs something else, whether it's edge binding or whether it's a sound hole rosette, just a simple sound hole rosette. I didn't think I'd find myself saying something like that because I like play, playing instruments. If this was made of mahogany, it just looked really, really plain. Um, but there we are. They do more decorative instruments higher up the line as well. So, you know, horses for courses. Inside it departs very much from Canale. You're not getting the true R bracing here. Um, incidentally, this is not the OHA series, which is coming out from Canale, also made in the Far East, which does have true R bracing. Hopefully, I'm going to be looking at one of those soon. This is just regular bracing, notched linings, but it's very tidy in there. And you can also see that that top, and the back for that matter, it's not overly thick laminate, because you can see the edge of the laminate here. It's not overly thick at all because it's a very light build like a lot of the Canalairs are. So this is all very nice, plain but nice. I can't find really any fault with the finish and the build. Very, very tidy, very typically Canalaya. The neck is made of mahogany. This is my first gripe. The mahogany is a different color to everything else. Obviously it's a different wood, uh, but it really stands out to me. As to the joints, we've got a joint here and a joint here, which is quite ugly. And then oddly, we've got a bit of a sort of volute shaping up here, which is usually to hide as part of a scarf joint, but actually the joint is here, so that isn't. Uh, but it's nice, I like those. They kind of act like a stopper to find your position. Also very much under the um, tutelage of Canalea, a really roomy nut, a Hawaiian style nut, 37 mil on a concert, 30 mil from G2A, right up my street. It's more rounded on the back than I would like, but I, I, it gets away with it because I like the really roomy nut. That's good. Topped with walnut for the fingerboard, which as you can see is in pretty good condition, but variable in color, but I don't mind that. 
edge bound in black, a little bit industrial in the finishing down here, edge bound in black hiding the fret ends, but there's no sharpness. 19 of those joined at the 14th. Position dots in pearl face out at 5, 7, 10 and 12. And you get little white dots in the black on the side as well. No complaints, this is a really nice neck. The Canalea shaped headstock, which is kind of a crown but not a crown, as I've said before. Faced in a, a very thin veneer of more acacia. The Islander logo is screen printed. I've said before that I'm not a huge fan of the Islander logo. I think it's a bit naive looking, a bit childish. Uh, I could have bigger gripes, couldn't I? I mean, it's all right, I suppose. Uh, I just love the Canalea logo, but obviously they couldn't put that on here. The tuners are not Canalea Grovers or Canalea brand tuners. They are unbranded open gears, but do you know what? They work all right, small white buttons. Uh, comes with a set of Aquila strings and nothing else at all. I think, well, when I come to the price, which I'll tell you, if you can find one, I'm only really seeing these on big box shippers now, the big ukulele specialists don't seem to be carrying them as much don't know why but when they were uh, well and in fact what i paid these are about 160 quid uh i've seen them for about 150 i've seen them for about 170 let's say 160 quid so it's a price that is in within reach for a lot of people and it's coming with this canalea heritage to it which does come through in the bridge and the nut width and the general build and look of it but i think these days it's it's looking a little bit expensive when you consider things like Kai and Snail and Enya that you will get a bag with as well for less money. I think it's a little bit expensive now because uh, you're getting nothing else. This is it. Now, I say the same thing about Carla and Ohana. They're also guilty of that as well. I think they really need to be including bags because I think they're, they're losing ground to even flight as well. Um, I think, but still... This is very well made, this is very well finished. I love the neck, very nice neck. And very plain, but you know, it, it, it does kind of look like a kind of layer instrument. Let's have a play. As I say, very light build. I talked about that thin top. This is only 535 grams. That's very light. Balances absolutely wonderfully. And we'll have a little bit of a play. Set up on this example too, pretty good. Although I have heard reports about some of the setups on the Islanders needing a bit of work. Maybe I got lucky. I'm not expecting huge things for a fully laminate instrument, but that's quite pretty. Volume. Good, good, not the loudest, but good, perfectly good enough. Sustain. That's good too. That's ringing on. It's, again, not the longest sustain I've ever heard. And that's a very crisp, clear tone. Which is nice. Yeah, very clear, crisp. Mm, yeah, sorry, I've clipped my fingernails back as well, so I'm flat picking effectively. But that is pretty. It's not overly complex, but it, it, it's very passive. Good ukulele sound. on the A string. That's easily fixed, but shouldn't be there.
Yeah, that's all right. I mean, it's, it sounds good in comparison to equivalents from a Carla or an Ohana, of which it's probably about the same sort of price as well. Uh, I do think the price is a little bit high when you bring in some of these newcomers into the market as well. Uh, but I love that nut width. Uh, a lot of people love the pin bridges and love the look of the Cavalier style instrument. It, it's not a bad instrument at all. Um, it's a very good instrument um, for the money. Um, if things were like this uh, 20 years ago, what a world, what, what a great market we would have had then. Um, but it's actually now feeling a little bit long in the tooth because you've got these other brands. I'm going on and on, aren't I? This is the Islander AC4 from Canalea, made in China, all laminate acacia wood. Um, very simple looking, good volume, good sustain, rich, rich, clear, crisp tone. Uh, that's very, very passable. Not going to uh, set the world in light, but it's not ever get, not really meant to, is it? It's, it's a beginner-level, entry-level instrument. Uh, I've liked looking at this. I don't give it a terrible score. I don't give it a stellar score, but it's all right. The AC4 Islander. Right, I've probably rambled quite a lot in that one. <laughs> I've been away for two weeks. So I've forgotten how to do this. Um, I've got review after review after review coming now in the weeks ahead. I've got so much to catch up on. I've got stuff arriving next week. It's it's going to be really busy. Nice to get back into the swing of things. Um, nice and warm in the UK at the moment. Very, very hot out there, so I'm looking a bit shiny. Um, thank you very much for your ongoing support. And your support while I wasn't here, that was really nice to see. I will see you all next week, and hope you have a great week ahead. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.